Welcome back to Excel 2016, Module 2. This is Part 5, Conditional Formatting. With conditional formatting, you're looking at the data, and if a certain condition or uh, fact is met, if we match a criteria, then we want the formatting to change. So we're going to look at several ways of making this happen automatically. So let's start out on our sales report worksheet from the morning workbook that we have been formatting and working with through module two. And I'm going to start out and I'm going to select E6 through F12. And what I want to happen is I want to display any negative numbers as red because I really want them to stand out. So we're going to go on the Home tab to Conditional Formatting, and we're going to choose to highlight certain cells. I want to highlight anything that is less than a value of zero, and I want it to be a light red fill with dark red text. Now, I'm also going to do that down here on the per store statistic values. So I'm going to choose E16 through F22. And again, I'm going to choose conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight any cells that are less than zero with a light red fill and dark red text. So now you can see that the values that are negative are reformatted so that they are red and with a fill and a text so that will make them stand out even more. Now, if I look at C12 and I change the answer here and said, you know what, we typed in this wrong. So it should be 215,100. Now you can see that it changed our results and automatically adjusted so that only one of those values was negative. The highlighting automatically was removed for the red on the ones that no longer were negative. So that's what conditional formatting will do for you. We'll look at your answers, and as the data changes, it will automatically format them if they meet the condition you have specified. So let's look at another rule. That is a highlighting rule. Now let's look at highlighting with a top or bottom rule. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to select select the store totals. So you're going to choose C27 and go all the way down to N46. And we're going to choose this quick analysis button. 
The quick analysis button has several things on it that we can do. And it's perceived to be easier than accessing them from the ribbon. It sometimes does not give us as many options, though, as if we use the ribbon. Let's choose the top 10%. Notice we chose top 10% and it automatically did red. So it doesn't give us as many choices when we use that quick analysis button as it did the other way. Okay, we're going to hit escape or undo, get rid of that rule. And because I didn't have the choices, I want the top 10. I want the top 10% to be green because those are the good ones. Okay? So I'm going to come in here on the top bottom rules and choose top 10%. Now notice I get a choice. I could change the percentage. I can also change the formatting. So I'm going to make that green. Keep in mind, I could enter a different number in here if I wanted, okay? Either by using the arrows or just typing. You click OK, and now you can see that my top store sales are in green. So if we lower the zoom, you can see that it only highlighted those sales that are the top 10%. Now you can apply more than one conditional rule to the same section. So let's say I wanted to create a bottom 10% and make those red. Now you can see that I could add that and it would do both on the same segment of data. Now if I wanted to create a legend that told me what the colors meant, I could come up here and let's say I just put it right above. I could put up here green and red. Just type those words in. Then I'm going to say that the green are the top 10% in sales. And uh, obviously I would need to make this a little larger. And then the bottom 10% in sales. Oops, that shouldn't say in, it should say is, it should say in. Okay, I'm going to shrink this back down. And I'm going to wrap both of these. Okay, so I can come in here now and I'm going to center these. And I can say, format this text. So I could come in here and say, highlight if the text is 
the word green, then I want it to be highlighted green. And then I can say to do the same thing, highlight text contains the word red and make it red. And now it tells the user who's looking at this report what the two different colors mean. So conditional formatting can be used in a lot of different ways. You can see we just touched on some of these today. We will be using more of these as we continue forward. But you should be able to do a highlighting of greater than, less than, between or equal to, and text as well. And you should be able to handle the top and bottom and average rules. That's the end of this video.